250 wow. nuclear explosions. That's what the USSR no. planned to dig a canal. They wanted to connect the Pechora and Kama rivers to redirect the nuclear weapons are not precise digging tools. Water flow into the Volga and then into the shrinking Caspian Sea to save it from drying up. You're going to cause a lot more environmental damage than that. All the underground contamination, in addition to the fallout from generating that many explosions, not to mention the seismic risk and safety concerns. The project was called Taiga, and instead of using traditional tools, they planned to dig the canals <laughs> with nuclear explosions. In 1971, they launched the first stage of the project with three simultaneous underground nuclear explosions. You gotta be careful to separate these out too if you're gonna do this crazy plan because if you detonate one nuke too close to another nuke, you're just gonna destroy the other nuke before it can even cause a nuclear explosion. It's not like it is in video games where one nuclear explosion causes another nuclear explosion. Each 15 kilotons in power. So those are comparable to the nuclear weapons that were used on Japan during World War II. As a result, a canal 700 meters long and 380 meters wide was formed. They're also unpredictable. You're not going to get even trench depth. Scientists were convinced that the That's test was a safe. Idea. No, now, it, it's not. However, the radioactive fallout spread beyond the borders of the USSR. It would, and it apparently expanded the borders of the USSR into Poland. Okay. Resulting in widespread environmental pollution and... and and the fallout's not the worst part, the localized effects are even worse. Triggering a strong negative global reaction, mm -hmm. so the project was shut down. The site of those three explosions eventually became a lake, later named Nuclear Lake. Nuclear even today, lake. it still has elevated radiation levels. Oh, not you deadly, believe it. but definitely not a place to swim. No, I wouldn't recommend it. 